Today, we're going to learn how to create beautiful charts in React with Weak Charts and build something like this. Here we have an area chart, a bar chart, and a line chart that have a nice little animation when they are rendered. The charts are responsive, and we can hover over them and see the data in the tooltip. Everything you see here is customizable, not just the colors. For example, if you don't want the Cartesian grid or the y-axis, you can just remove them. To build charts, you just import the modules you need, because WeCharts is built specifically for React. There are also work charts, like pie charts, radar charts, scatter charts, and so on. you find a full list on the documentation. Once you understand how to create a chart, you can create any chart you want. So let's get started. Here, I have an empty Next.js app that uses the app router, the source directory, and Tailwind CSS for styling. I deleted any existing styles in the global CSS file. Inside layout.js, I added a simple background to the HTML element. Inside the page.js file, I added a simple grid with three grid items that will hold the charts. Here's what it looks like before adding the charts. Now it's time that we create the charts. To get started with read charts, we need to install run npm install read charts in your terminal. After the install, let's create our first chart. Let's start with an area chart. Create a new folder inside the app directory called components. Inside that folder, create a new file called areachart.jsx. For now, let's just return a simple h tag with the text area chart. We need to use client at the top because we will add interactivity to the chart later. Now, let's import it inside the page.js file and run it inside the first grid item. OK, let's create our first chart for real. The great thing about Recharts is that it's built for React, so we can simply import the modules we need. This also means we can customize it however we want and decide if we need like an X or Y axis, a grid, or a legend, and so on. We're going to start with a simple area chart with only one area and then build it up from there. Let's import the components that we need for Recharts. Import area chart and area. Before we can render the chart, we need to provide some data. Let's create a simple array of product sales. Now we can render the chart. Let's add the area chart component and pass the data as a prop. Inside the area chart component, we can add the area component and pass the data key as a prop. The data key is the name of the property in the data array, so make sure it matches. And that's it. We have a simple area chart. You might notice that the chart is too big for the grid item. We can fix this by wrapping the chart inside a responsive container. You can do this with every chart. Import the responsive container component from WeCharts and wrap the area chart component inside it. Add the width and height props to the responsive container and set them to 100%. Now the chart is responsive and fits the grid item. We can add more props to the area chart to customize the chart even further. For example, we can smooth the chart by adding the type prop and setting it to monotone. To change the colors, we can also add the stroke and fill props to the area. This is how the chart looks like now. Let's add a second area to the chart. We can do this by adding another area component and passing the data key as a prop. This time we use it for the product too. With that, we have two charts that overlap each other. Each chart represents a product. However, the one I showed you in the beginning were stacked. We can simply achieve this by adding the stack ID prop to both area components and setting it to one. It looks better now, but it's still very simple and it's missing a grid, the x and y axis, a legend, and a tooltip. Let's add the grid and the axis first. With we charts, we simply import these components and add them to the chart. Let's import the x axis, the y axis, as well as the Cartesian grid. It looks better now, but I want the grid to be dash. We can do this by adding the stroke dash array prop to the Cartesian grid and set it to something like five and five. With that, the grid is dash. Finally, let's add the legend and the tooltip. We can do this by importing the legend and tooltip components. Now the chart has a proper legend, and if we hover over the data points, we can see a tooltip with the data. However, since we set the dark background and the text to white, we can't see the text in the tooltip. We can fix this by adding a custom tooltip. It's very easy to create a custom tooltip. Create a new component below the area chart component and call it custom tutor. It takes in three props, active, payload, and label. Active is a boolean that indicates if the tutor is active or not. Payload is an array of objects that contains the data for the tooltip. And label is the label of the data point. 
To use our custom tooltip, we need to pass it to the tooltip component as a prop. We set the content prop to our custom tooltip. And that's it. If we hover over the chart now, we can see our custom tooltip. The colors are correct now, and we can see the data for both products and the label. You can customize your tooltip however you want. Finally, let's add some margins to the chart so the right side looks similar to the left side. We can pass a margin prop to the area chart component and set it to an object with the right property set to 30. With that, our area chart is done. The workflow I showed you is the same for every chart. You can customize it however you want and add as many components as you need. If you need to find more about the components and props, you can check out the documentation on the ReCharts website. They have a nice page with a list of different examples and styling options. Okay, let's quickly add the rest of the charts, starting with the bar chart. Create a new file inside the components directory and call it barchart.jsx. The code is very similar to the area chart, so you can just copy and paste it from the area chart. The only difference is that we have a sales data array with the data and imported bar chart and bar from WeCharts instead of area chart and area. Replace the area chart component with a bar chart component and area with bar. For a custom tooltip, I replace product 1 and product 2 with revenue and profit to match our data. If we imported the bar chart component inside the page.js file and run it inside the second grid item, we can see the bar chart now. And here's how it looks like. We have a simple bar chart with two bars. The cards are correct and the tooltip shows the correct data. Once you understand how to create one chart, you can create any chart you want. Let's add the last chart. Create a new file inside the components directory and call it linechart.jsx. In this case, I used the same data as for the bar chart. I imported line chart and line and added the two line components to the chart. I also changed the colors to match the theme. Import the line chart component inside the page.js file and run it inside the third grid item. And here's how our final product looks like. We have three charts that look great and fit our dark team. The charts are responsive and interactive. We can hover over them and see the data. Also, the animation when it's rendered is just nice to have. With three charts, we can create beautiful charts in React. It's easy to use and customize. It comes with a lot of features. The workflow is very similar for every chart. So you just need to understand how to create one chart. So you can create more charts as you go. Refer to the documentation if you need to find more about the charts, the props, and modules. And that's it for me. I know I haven't posted a video in a while, but I'm back now and I'm going to post more videos in the future. Until then, see you next time.